As I sat down to write this devotional, I noticed that in the far west there were some clouds forming and there was a good chance before the day was through I would encounter a storm. It made me think of the storms of life that come over all of us, the good and the bad alike. God makes his sun to shine on both. He sends the storms of life on both the good and the bad. So the storms will come. Some will be fierce. Some of them will, some of them are going to be just too big for us to handle alone. So this wonderful Father in heaven invites us to come to him through his beloved son Jesus. He invites us to open our heart and life to the Savior, to call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Romans 10:13. Then, after being saved, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, God promises to help us through the storms of life. Listen to him speak through his prophet Isaiah. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Isaiah 43, verses 1 to 3. So the storms of life are going to come, rivers of sorrow and disappointment and bereavement and bewilderment, and only God knows what. But those rivers will never overflow us. They will never defeat us. And the fire will come too. Temptations that burn the very soul. Anger that flares up to destroy us. Hatred that fills our soul with bitterness. Oh yes, fire will be there too. But in and through it all, we have the everlasting promise of God. He said the rivers will never overflow us. He said the fire will never burn us. What a wonderful God. Yes, the storms are coming. God knows. God cares. And God keeps us safe through them all. The beautiful hymn, How Firm a Foundation, puts it so, so beautifully. It goes like this. How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in his excellent word. What more can he say than to you he hath said, to you who for refuge to Jesus have fled? Fear not, I am with thee, O oh, be not dismayed, for I am thy God and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand upheld by my righteous omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow, for I will be with thee thy burdens to bless and sanctify to thee thy deepest distress. When through fiery trials thy pathway shall lie, my grace all sufficient shall be thy supply. The flame shall not hurt thee, I only design thy dross to consume and thy gold to refine. The soul that on Jesus hath leaned for repose, I will not, I will not desert to his foes. That soul, though all hell should endeavor to shake, I'll never, no, never, no, never forsake. Amen. Yes, sir, sure enough. The clouds are gathering in the west, but I have no fear because the Holy One of Israel, my Savior, will see me through. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us and you know everything we face and every trial that we have. And no matter how deep the waters are or how fierce the fire, you are always there to help us and told us you would never leave us or forsake us. Thank you for the Savior. In Jesus' name, amen.